Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forgecraft Evolved. I'm Action Evolved, and today we're just surveying the work from the last episode, and this is beautiful. It's amazing. And we, this is such a testament to the engineering of this factory, not to toot my own horn. I'm super proud of this, to, to be honest. So, before we can even get started and before we can craft new wonders for this world to behold, do me a quick favor. Scroll down just a little bit. Hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Helps me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And with that all out of the way, let's hop right into this episode. So yeah, it's just like glorious to behold. And it all seems to be working out pretty nicely. I mean, we're definitely producing power down here. Like these guys are working. And... I haven't quite seen any backups, although I haven't looked too hard. I mean, it looks like we're full of fuel. Um, I gotta be a little careful about how I navigate this. But, I mean, we, we're fully powered over here. We've got the stuff flowing. Looks like we even got... Well, we don't quite have a backup of fuel, but... We've got enough for now. And, like I said, this is a, a prime candidate to get upgraded or even doubled up. I might put in a second system just for the this line over here but we also gotta think i want to get rid of all these other belts that are up here so all of these right here and that's going to take some time and that's going to take some planning but it's also going to take more power right so we're going to have to set up another set of belts or i'm sorry of of induction plates and matter movers i don't know i i guess you know what i guess we can just look right I'm gonna, I was going to say, I don't know exactly what kind of distance we're looking at in terms of, you know, like, where can we put a matter mover. But if I put a little block down, right, I can put a block right here. And we can see, or I guess we can even do math. What is this? X is 9. So if we're coming all the way to here. So what is 65 and 9? 74? So if we... I think we can shoot from here, right? And I think that's, can we see that? Okay, so this block right here, in fact, maybe I will put down, do I have, here, I'll put down a canvas right here. And we'll paint it uh, green. And this is so that we all know that this line right here is where the matter mover should be. So that's actually pretty nice. And then once we're over here, I can go ahead. I mean, it, it's kind of short, but it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Matter move from there to there, just like the 150s, because we already have this line coming in and we have the line down here coming in and going up and, and feeding into the, the hoppers right there. So that would be a natural spot you know, to do a couple matter movers. And I mean, I guess the only bad thing is like, that's kind of close, right? Cause if we're, if we're looking, that's what 26 meters. So I don't know. It kind of is what it is. We could maybe, ugh, I don't want to actually, no, I don't want to do dual matter movers because then I have to put another one midway. And then I have dual, dual leading into single. It just doesn't make any sense. Right. So that's, this is a good candidate for the next round of matter movers. I'll put, I'll have to put induction pads down here, over here, and then we'll have to put the turbines under and then also fuel it. Um, yeah, so which means we'll probably have to get rid of some of this stuff, depending on where everything lines up. But that's not a huge deal. That's, that should be very doable. But what I was thinking is that kind of, technology it, it is expensive in terms of materials right so i want to look at doing something else and getting some of our power infrastructure all automated and honestly it all starts with these guys right here these alloy machine blocks because and i know we've looked at this a few times but if we look yet again the two main things we use for our power mark three laser energy transmitters alloy machine block our power mark three power storage Alloy machine blocks. At least this one also has lightweight machine housings. So that's something else that we're going to need to make. But alloy machine blocks are the hugest bottleneck, I guess, in terms of power right now. Uh, a secondary thing would be these 
uh, Mark IV uh, batteries. The Mark IV batteries will, I guess, become the backbone of our power infrastructure in the very, very short term, the, the medium term, so to speak, because like I said before, all of this, all of these turbines are basically a phase one, right? This is, I don't wanna say it's like the beta version of the factory, but it kind of is because what I want to do is put a Mark IV battery in the middle of every single one of these induction chargers and connect them all with conduits. That will make this place incredibly dangerous. Like we will not be able to come down here, but what we can do, and especially because those conduits, I think they have like a 128 range. What we can do is once we have them all set up and uh, side note, luckily everything we have is on a grid so we can make them all see each other. Now again, that does get a little complicated sometimes. Uh, if you look back at some of the frozen factory stuff I did in the last season, that's where I really got into conduits and all that kind of stuff. You'll see kind of what I mean by that. But th that's all stuff that we can kind of handle. You know what I mean? We, we, we can deal with it. But because everything's on a grid, right? Obviously, everything lines up. We can see the crisscrossing lines up here. What that means is I can do things like, like take, you know, all the, everywhere there's an induction plate over here. What I can do is go over some distance, like out here, put another Mark IV battery down, and then I can, uh, I can use the conduits to power, to inject power into the system. But then over here, I can have these batteries powered by like two turbines. I can have them powered by two turbines each and just make one kind of generation station or even do things like just slap the, the Mark II solar panels on there and have it all be kind of free or supplemental or however we want to put it, right? So those are all just, again, it, it's all future. It's all kind of part of like the mega, mega vision of this. And then also like even these guys, this, this, I mean, well, this seems to be holding out pretty well, but I mean, it's starting to, to, to go down a little bit, you know? I don't know why this turbine right here isn't isn't spinning at all. You know what I mean? Like this. Well, I guess I mean this is only doing eleven hundred, but this should be seen. Like the this guy. In fact, if I took, I, I'm curious, right? If I take this battery and I do something like this, um, let's use glass because now I'm just curious as to why that isn't filling up, right? I'll do that, and I do this. Like, does that spin up? I mean, it's getting... Okay, so... Where is it getting the power from? It has to be drawing the power from that turbine. But why is this turbine not spinning? This turbine will spin if it needs to. And it has the same... What is that? That's the input, right? I don't want to die, but... Yeah. Uh, that's the input. And that's getting fuel from the same spot, so... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's just because we don't have enough demand. So... Or something. I, I don't know. We'll, we, we can figure that out later. <laughs> Sorry. Nice little tangent there, but... Uh, yeah. This can this can be replaced with a Mark IV battery. I had tried to earlier, and it kind of like glitched out on me, so maybe we can fix it later. But, again, everything eventually on a Mark IV battery, except for where it's not practical, like... I don't know, like some some little things, like like the matter movers down there where we're we're transmitting the fuel. This whole system right here, it makes no sense to put that on a Mark IV battery, right? It's just impractical. But these guys, easy. And then all these other turbines, we can just use them and use them as part of that power generation thing. So, but all of that doesn't kind of go anywhere, or it doesn't even start going until we get this project looked at. And that's this guy right here. This is the current state of the frozen factory. You can see it's all it's all still trying to render in and all that, but we uh we've gone a certain distance. Do I have some light? Yeah, there we go. Maybe maybe a little bit more light. So we've gone out at least this far. And now we're going out in the opposite directions. I think that one was still finishing, but here's a new one. You know, th I, this guy is digging still. I don't think it's quite got to the bottom yet. Or to the top. Yeah, it's only about halfway done. This guy should be done soon, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. That's about 45% also. 
So I think these are the two opposite directions from where we first started, but I mean, you can see here. Let me let me make white glow sticks here, and I'll turn the lights down a little bit. Save some power, but there's still quite a bit to dig out. But where we do have it all dug out, you know, we're, we're at 50 height, which is pretty nice. And again, I'm going to start putting up the electric lights, which are, let me see if I can find them. Well, I can't find the electric lights anywhere in the in in the crafting uh, menus, but it might it might, might need the water jet uh, cutter or something for the for the uh, manufacturing plant. So we'll just trust me when I say that we'll have some lighting that'll make all of this look a lot better. But I am curious to see kind of how the cryoplasm will, um, I guess, be affected by. Uh, the the trivial mobs it may be easier it may not be easier honestly it, it's okay if it's not easier because once we're at that part I, I learned a lot from the last the last season on on how to fight all that and some strategies so we might I'm probably going to gloss over fighting some of that because instead what I'm going to do is mostly focus on the factory part of everything so uh, I guess let me know if you guys want to see how to fight the cryoplasm. I did it in the last season, but, you know, some of you may just be stumbling on this series for the first time and you don't know anything about the game you didn't watch the last season. So let me know down below if you want me to kind of show my strategy, at least, for fighting the cryoplasm. I know there's kind of a couple different, I guess, ways you can go about doing that. Some that are maybe more intended... And some that are maybe, I guess, l not intended, but are faster. And there's things you can use like chargeable explosives. And I'll, I'll kind of go over that once we really get into that. But, I, you know, right now we're kind of just focusing on building out our room here. And there's actually a lot more crystal than I thought there would be. And like, yeah, see, like we're, we're way, we're dug way far out over here. So... And I'm really liking actually how that floor looks. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> so, but we're going to need to go even farther than where we have gone. Fill in floors and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, that's kind of, it, it just, it takes a while, you know. And that's what the diggers are, are doing. And look at that, we even got like a, what was that, sand? Ew. But yeah, so lots of lots of stuff to go on down here. But this is going to be pretty instrumental in our, in our, uh, I guess our factory kind of plussing itself up. And there is still some stuff on the surface we need to do before we can really get into this. And let me kind of show you and kind of go over again what I was talking about. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the electric lights. It takes torches and power storage blocks, but you can color these lights. And they give you way more actual lighting than a torch does, but they need to be powered. So I had kind of built a grid on my ceiling of, you know, power storage blocks and laser energy transmitters that uh, you just slap a light on there and it gives you tons of light. And it actually looks really cool and does a really effective job. So I found this in the self craft menu. I don't know why I didn't see it before, but it's right here. So that's kind of something that we're going to be, once we kind of figure out where exactly we're going to put everything, the electric light is going to be our number one lighting solution down there because it's also not going to require any sort of um, maintenance once it's already done, right? And before we can really do that, you know, we had actually set up this project over here and that was setting these little pods here for all of these uh, these hoppers for all these uh, experimental pods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these and then break those because we 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 need to start figuring out the uh, <laughs> the OET. And if you're not familiar with the OET, the OET is just a giant kind of space space station base, I guess. And what it does is you charge it up with a variety of things. And then you use this little controller right here. And this controller, you you go out to the, the hive mines or the over mines that are out in the corners. 
and you basically call down a giant laser strike to take out them and stop sending bugs. Now, I'm not super concerned about bugs, right? But I would like this to stop happening. I would very much like to build this wall back up because here's so far the, the wall of the factory. And what I'm actually planning on doing is we've got two new resources, the tier three metals that we're going to get. And I would love to set up another line kind of like right in this area to, to mimic what we have there so that we can use those tier three materials and fill out the rest of the factory down here. So that means I don't want to do any kind of processing down in the frozen factory. Everything, what I'm, I'll, I probably won't smelt on the surface because that becomes very expensive in terms of power. So I'll smelt down in the frozen factory, but then I'm going to output all of that stuff to um, uh, probably a lift or a series of lifts and I'll have those come up and, and do their thing. Um, hold on. I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking out loud now. Is that something I want to mess with matter movers? And I'm kind of thinking the answer is no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Side note, I, I kind of went through and finished off this little design right here. Um, I actually had, oh, <laughs> we could talk about that too. I actually had somebody ask me if I was planning on making like an enclosed base. And I may still do that, right? Uh, this is, this is something that I don't know if I will keep right here or really how I'm planning on enclosing it all. But that's definitely still on the table in terms of, you know, doing some decor because there's, there's kind of a lot we could do. We got a lot of outdoor stuff, but we can kind of make some like, I don't know, some some enclosures or something that kind of encapsulates all of this. And I don't know, we, we, we'd have to figure it out, but it's definitely possible. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, uh, I keep going on all these tangents. So back to the OET. The OET is just a giant, a giant thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I this is just <laughs> this is just this block right here. This is where our power is, and I just kind of left an opening and sent it down. I, I don't know. I just wanted to in, enclose it and make kind of like a, a, a structure around it. So that's really all it is. It's just kind of like a, a, a concentric. I don't even want to use the term circle. It's more like a an octagon that just kind of encloses itself and then leaves a hole and then that's how we get down to the, the frozen factory so that's all that is just i don't know i was just messing around in between episodes and built it so that's that's literally the whole story with that so yeah but over here this is where i was thinking uh do we want to put the oet out here and i kind of think the answer is yes and so i guess what we can do right uh let's see here I kind of want it to be on this level. So I'm going to like put kind of, oh, that's a big hole. I'm going to put a line. And this is going to be kind of the start of some flooring. You know what I mean? So this is the level. What is this? Is this zero right here? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking about doing is something along the lines of here. Let me, let me just bring this all the way to the wall, right? I can kind of do, maybe we'll bring it to this level right here all right so we do something like that we do something like that maybe maybe like this and then we'll just start what i'll do is i'll get in here and i'll just start filling it in you know just kind of like zoom in but this will be the level that the oet is kind of built on right and i'm not gonna do all that but just for kind of demonstration purposes so I will build the OET somewhere out here. It doesn't have to be too, too far, but it's obviously gonna be somewhat far. And what we'll need to do is once I kind of determine the exact placement of the OET, we're gonna have to, to get that thing powered, right? And really we've got a few options for how to do that. Uh, number one is we can power it I'm going to use turbines either way, but, or I guess I can use turbines and solar. Solar would be slower, but it's definitely like a possibility. But most, mostly what I'm thinking about is how do we want it to look? You know, do we want the OET to kind of be 
charging on its own and kind of unassuming? Or do we want to see all of the lasers coming from all of the turbines that are charging it all? Because I think it looks kind of cool to see all the lasers, but I also did that last time. So now it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of an open question on what people want to see. So let me know actually down in the comments, what do you want to see? And we'll kind of see, you know, what, what wins. And again, this isn't something that's kind of like a huge, a huge deal because again, we're not, um, we're not too concerned with killing the overmines and actually worrying about the enemies. But I do want my factory to stop getting kind of destroyed by tunnel nukers. So that is most of the reason why I'm doing this. And so in other words, I'm going to focus on that corner first. And if you're not sure what the overmind is, let me show you. So without getting too close to it, this is the overmind right here. This is what we're trying to eventually take out. And the way it works is we'll get that, uh, here, let me show you. We'll get this orbital strike controller, which is an item. And you, you kind of just put it down near the overmind and you activate it. And then a, a giant mothership looking thing will come over and it'll blast this thing with energy. It's actually really fun to watch. And I think you get some like brains and stuff out of it too. But once that's done, then you no longer will get bug spawns coming in from this direction. And you can see we're actually not that far from the base. Like there's there's the base right there. So it's literally like right, right over there. And man, there's so many bug parts in the corners. And I know the Falcors have like a two, a 256 range. Oh, I wonder if this stopped because I left the area. Maybe I overloaded the, the array that was keeping track of all this. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll build this all out. And uh, in fact, let me build this all out right now. And then I'm going to also build some OET parts maybe. Or maybe, I, I don't know. But we, I'll build this out and we can kind of start game planning on what we're going to do with it all. Alright, so now that we've got all this space here. What I want to do. Now, if we look at what it says in terms of the of building this guy, right? It has a nine by nine base. So I want to do something kind of a little bit decorative, right? And so what I'm thinking is maybe somewhere kind of in the middle. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to kind of pick a, a center point. Maybe let's just do right, literally just right there. I want to use this block. And what I want to do is kind of build a platform, but I almost want that platform to look kind of like a pyramid, right? So I know nine by nine, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's pretty much the size of what we're going to build, right? That's the, this is going to be the OET's um, height or the, or I guess the perimeter, right? So what I want to do is I want to build, I don't know, maybe four layers taller, right? So what I got to do then, right? Let's go uh, another four. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, and then go in. And now this is going to serve as the new perimeter, right? So this will be the the base of what I'm trying to build. This will be the first level of the base. And then everything else will just be uh, one block in, right? And so this should make sense here in a second, right? So the next round is going to start right there. You know, it's going to be one block in. And then the next round is going to be here. And then there, and then finally, we're going to have that, right? Right there. And so everything's going to be just one more block in. And then all I'd have to do, you know, is connect those just like that. Connect that. And then, oh wait, I did that wrong. No, 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 that's, oh, I just went in one. Whoops. There we go. And then, <laughs> see, it, it can get confusing, right? And then that should be here, and that connects up, and then this to that. 
So eventually we'll we'll walk up when we're over here. We'll walk up and we'll see the OET on top of this platform. Hopefully the platform seems big enough. I don't know. I'm going to have to build it all out to really see. But I don't know. It could be kind of cool. So we'll see how all that looks once I get it all built. And so there's there's kind of how the platform is going to look. And again, this should be 9 by 9 right? Is that, is that what I said? 9 by 9 Is that what they said? 9 by Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to need 1,053 of these, which means I'm going to need... Well, even more of that. So what I might need to do is actually go back to the lab. I'm going to slap down some hoppers, right? Just like that. So that we can come kind of get plussed up on some of the stuff we need, right? But for now, we can at least start the, uh, the journey to getting all of these. All right. So I don't have everything I need, but I do have a thousand of them, right? So we can, we can kind of see where that gets us. And... Luckily, uh, the the auto super build is going to be the key here, right? So that's one, and it's 13 tall, right? So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is how tall it's going to be. And then can I see that? Nice. So I guess I'm just going to do this until I run out of blocks well we got so close we just need whatever that is right was it like 48 49 50 51 50. so we need like 53 more blocks oh of course 1053 right but this will kind of i mean obviously the model isn't rendered in yet because we don't have all the blocks but it's kind of cool i i think it'll look pretty pretty nice and then we'll just have to figure out you know are we gonna do kind of some platforms of uh turbines over here that are just shooting power onto it or you know kind of what we're gonna do the last season i made kind of a line of turbines i think there's like 24 26 28 something like that but they were all in a row back here double stacked and then the lasers that came off them either hit it directly or they kind of came out at they shot forward and then they all uh pivoted right into the side to to power it all up so I did some on that side, and the other ones came in on this side. So it was charging up from three different angles. So that that's a possibility. The other possibility is we build something down here. Um, well, actually, I guess for on top, what I was thinking is instead of having them all in a row, I'd have some turbines, you know, on this face, some turbines on this face, and some turbines on this face, and that would all kind of just hit the hit the thing directly. But again, we could also we could also do something where we kind of clear out this this area down here a little bit, put all the turbines down there, and then shoot all the lasers up into the bottom. So this kind of just exists as its own like monument. But I mean that's that's all there is. I don't know. I'm still undecided, but I, I think it's gonna look cool. E either way, I think it's gonna look good. In one hand, it's gonna be nice and simple and kind of monolithic and on the other hand it's going to look like the the central part of a bigger thing so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see but let me get the rest of those parts going so we can at least finish off this model all right and then we just put the last block in and there we go so there's the oet we got it down and you if you look down at the bottom left i think it needs what is that a hundred million power which is a, a ton obviously but there we go uh, what I think, what I think I'm gonna do, kind of funny, to, to me at least. Oh, you can see it kind of exceeds. I, I don't think it it actually. Like I don't think this is part of the model. This is part of the model, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put that there, and then I'm gonna see. Oh, can I even do this? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put an organic solar panel just like right on it. Just like that. And that'll just get it ever so slowly charging. And so right now the ETA is over 168 hours, which I think is about a week, right? And we're collecting at the 45 power per second. So, it, it you know, from the back you won't see anything, but it's, it's trying. And there's kind of the mothership that I was talking about that once we have the strike controller, that thing will just go over to the overmines and just blast it with energy it's actually pretty pretty awesome but but yeah i think this looks kind of cool it might look cooler honestly 
with the turbines around it. So I'm kind of leaning in that direction with the turbines. But yeah, either way, we're going to have to kind of build up the resources for that. And unfortunately, guys, I think this episode has gone a little bit longer than I intended. I kind of <laughs> spent a lot of time talking about the future plans and kind of showing all that stuff off. But we did get this built pretty significant piece of machinery for the factory. Uh, this is in the base game. I think uh, I think destroying all of these the overmines is the end of the base game with the end of the frozen factory being the shooting of the railgun. So, I mean, we technically would be close to being the, the base game. But, of course, as you know, this is all about the factory. So, uh, I think we're going to call it for now. Next episode, though, I want to really get into um, automating a lot of that power infrastructure, like I said. Especially those Tier 4 batteries. Uh, but that's going to take a ton, an absolute ton of nickel because of the alloy machine block requirement. So... You know, we may have to spend a bit of time maybe figuring that out more. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. At least we can get it plumbed up and try to worry about the throughput after the fact. But again, guys, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying this series. And we'll see you in the next one.